Published, 3.36 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018, updated, 10.52 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 1st of April 2018 Police have questioned a woman who brought over a one-pound bag of Sergei Skripal's favorite cereal from Russia after being asked by his daughter Yulia. Her father had asked her to bring her buckwheat back from Moscow while on her trip at Ms. Skripal, 33, forgot it. She instead asked an unnamed woman who was flying back separately to bring over the Russian-style breakfast, according to the son the woman, who works for a major medical company in Russia, has been interrogated by Scotland Yard over the presence. Police are investigating the possibility that Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia, pictured, may have been poisoned by his favorite breakfast cereal brought back from Russia. Mr. Skripal had asked his daughter to bring it back from Moscow when she returned the day before the nerve agent attack on March 4 but she forgot and asked a friend to buy it instead a source told The Sun, police had suspected gifts from Yulia to her father might have contained the Novichok nerve agent, Sergei, 66, had also asked for bay leaves and spices from Russia. Yulia is said to be conscious and talking after the attack, but her father Sergei is still in a coma. One of Mr. Scripple's friends has said he believes he is being kept alive by life support machines. The woman Ms. Scripple asked to bring back the Russian porridge, who works for a major medical company in Russia, has been interrogated by Scotland Yard over the presence. File photo, Ms. Scripple, pictured, is now conscious and talking, after recovering from the attack and police hope she could soon be able to tell police about the moments before she and her father collapsed in a park. The development could prove key to the investigation into the attack, as it may mean Ms. Scripple could soon be able to tell police about the moments before she and her father collapsed in a park. She could also potentially identify whoever carried out the attack, which is now thought to have taken place at Mr. Scripple's suburban home. The Metropolitan Police believe Mr. Scripple and his daughter, who was visiting him from Russia, first came into contact with a deadly chemical at his home in Salisbury. Detailed forensic testing revealed the highest concentration of Novichok was found on the front door. The attempted murder investigation is continuing and, as a precautionary measure, police placed a cordon around a children's play area at nearby Montgomery Gardens. Investigators now believe the Novichok attack happened at his home in Salisbury as detailed forensic testing revealed the highest concentration of Novichok was found on the front door. Pictured, investigators board up Mr. Scripple's home.